The Saskatchewan Archaeological Society has so many opportunities available for the public, including their Archaeo Caravan programs. Here to talk to us more about that is Tasha and Kaylee. Tasha, let's just start right there. What is the Archaeo Caravan program? The program is kind of a threefold system that we have. Mm. Uh, a large part, portion of it is for us to travel to northwestern communities and smaller museums in Saskatchewan this summer and to help those museums with any questions they may have about any artifacts that they have. Neat. The second portion of the project is to do a lot of community outreach and public education concerning yes. archaeology, especially with kids. Okay. So we have school programs Neat. in which classes from that community come and we do one hour programming for every grade that comes that day. All right, teach me a little bit about what we have in front of us here. Sure. sure. We have a petroform station where we get the kids to make boulder monuments. That so as we, so cool. as we do this, we like to talk about the kids and provide mm -hmm. a little bit more interpretation and mm -hmm. talk about why people would have done this and mm -hmm. how much work and cooperation it would have taken to build something like this and that reflects the importance of the monuments that we still see today. Very cool. And moving on to this area. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is our pottery making. So with this one, we show the kids either how to make what's called a pinch pot, where you're basically just kind of pinching out the shape of a little pot, oh, or neat. a coil pot, where you're rolling out little strips and kind of stacking them on top of each other. Hmm. Um, so pottery is interesting because it's only been around for really about 2,000 years or so. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's just an interesting aspect. They definitely love doing this, and we yes. teach them uh, how to make the pots, and then also all these different decorative techniques as well, because different yeah. cultures in the past would have decorated their pots differently, and that's one way that archaeologists are actually able to distinguish between various groups. Oh my goodness, you guys are so knowledgeable. <laughs> I'm learning so much already. And finally, we have over here a ceramics. What are we doing with all these pieces? And this is a favorite of almost weird, every group we've been to. Um, <laughs> we like to tell them it's like a really hard puzzle that you don't have a picture like for, it. that somebody else then mixed four other pictures <laughs> yeah, puzzles with. Um, <laughs> So we get them to sort things into color, and we like to tell them they're in our mini archaeology lab, because okay. this is something that archaeologists actually have to do, is pottery reconstruction. So they get to play around with this and try to rebuild it, so we provide them with tape, and they can usually get pretty far. Perfect. And we have hide painting over here. Now, tell me what this is. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, um, so we have it hide painting here, so we give them little pieces of paper. Okay. Um, kind of in the shape of hides. They kind of get a bit lumpy after a while, that's okay. <laughs> that's um, but yeah, basically we sort of teach them how in the past they wouldn't have had paint brushes like how we have today. Mm. Instead they would have been using sticks and they would have make, been making their own paint out of crushed rocks or berries or various things like that. Wow. Um, and then we get them to paint an image, something that's important to them. We try to get them to try to tell some sort of story. Mm -hmm. So we do provide images for them to copy or sometimes they are creative and come up with some of their own. Well, that is very cool. These are just just a few of the things that are available through the Saskatchewan Archaeological Society. Of course, make sure you check them out online for all of those details. And don't go anywhere because there's lots more coming up.